Chisty Gamer Gamer7 and welcome back to another video here on the channel and as you probably can already tell by the beginning here and also the little uh, title of the video that you have clicked on this is for the November collab my monthly November collabs so last month um, I did try to do the October collab but the few people that reached out to me never like they asked questions and then didn't reach out to me again except for like one of them she did get back to me later on and never never notified her of my message that had sent back to her as a reply but by then I'd already decided to just call off that collab a lot of other people were saying they were already busy and they were already in a bunch of other collabs and things like that and I know that my videos don't get a whole lot of views which is fine that's perfectly fine so um it probably got lost amongst a lot of other collabs that was going on last month so I, I understand that and it's perfectly fine, but I'm still going to be trying to have the November collab uh, this month. So the idea of this one is similar to something I have done in the past, but a, just a little bit different. So with this one, I have 10 little groupings here of wallpaper, flooring, and items. And you're basically going to get to choose which grouping you want to do. and these items and that one wallpaper and flooring have to be somewhere in your build and the overall theme is to eventually try to make the build sort of seem like a fall like feel thanksgiving type thing i know not everyone celebrates thanksgiving and things like that but the more of going with the idea of behind thanksgiving in general that it's sort of just generally become being thankful for the good things that have happened to you so far and family and friends and stuff like that and sort of fall vibes um so you know still getting the the pumpkin and the fall leaf vibes and things like that you get where yeah we're heading into winter but we don't want to let go of fall just yet <laughs> so yeah that's basically the overall theme of the build you can do whatever you want you can do any size build you want you can do any um uh, there is no money limit if you want to personally challenge yourself and give you a lot size that might be more challenging for you or a money limit for this, you can, but it's not going to be required from my end. <laughs> On my end, the main two like challenges is to have the Thanksgiving-y or the fall vibes, friends and family, just being happy to be around one another type feel going on in your build. And also making sure that the items, wallpaper, and flooring are included from the grouping you chose. And to sort of base your build slightly around that grouping, but not completely. You're not restrained to just that full, full vibe. You could literally do one or two rooms that have that vibe and the rest of the rooms start to change. So, And especially if you're building a residential, I'm going to understand if not... All the bedrooms are going to have the same vibe as the grouping you chose. Now, obviously, you can pr you can add little decorations here and there inside the be the bedrooms that sort of give the fall vibe. But otherwise, I'm not expecting the bedrooms to scream full out fall, <laughs> full out Thanksgiving, or you know that sort of feel to it. I'm not expecting that in every single room. Now, as far as packs. Um, all packs are allowed, including including the Snowy Escape that will be coming out in this month. The only one that is going to be excluded is Star Wars, because I still do not have Star, Star Wars Journey of Batu. I think it's on 50% off right now, but I'm still hesitant to get it, because I just... I really personally don't think I'd get a lot of use from it, other than the build and buy. The gameplay and the cast, I will never touch. Um, probably and if I touch the gameplay, it's only gonna be for a little bit and I really doubt I'm going to and Not there's only Some build items that I can see me using every as an everyday thing the rest of them would be for specific things which sometimes I do I go for creative sims and builds that have a particular vibe that they're supposed to be going for or feel but I just don't think I would get enough use out of anything in that pack to spend a whole lot of money on so maybe if it's on another bigger sale or something like that maybe i'll eventually get it so i'm sorry for anyone who has star wars and would want to try to use it in here but i don't have it so i would not be able to actually tour it like i do at the end of the month sometimes i do make um 
special exceptions if I'm not planning on doing a tour video or if I'm trying to open it up to also create a sim because create a sim I'm more relaxed when it comes to the CC and all that stuff. A lot of times when it comes to the builds I generally just want the packs that I have and normally I do have all the packs. This has just been the only one that I just haven't even remotely wanted to get. I'm Again, I may eventually get it. I may look at it at some point, but I'm also trying to save up money for future things, um, future plans and things going on in my life at this point. So I know it probably isn't a whole lot of money to spend on it with it being half off now, but I just, I can't see, justify myself spending much money on it all when I just really don't think I'm going to use it when I'm saving it. But I am getting the Snowy Escape because I think this is the most excited I've been for a pack in a really, really long time. So I'm 100% getting that one. So if you get that one by the time you start building or halfway through your build or whatever, you can feel free to use that one. And also, I can't remember if I fully stated this or 100% stated this, but please, no CC. I do love CC, especially in Create a Sim, but I also do love some Build and Buy CC. But again, I do want to actually do a full-on video tour of all the builds at the end. And trying to download all the CC for everyone's builds would be quite challenging. <laughs> now, maybe it should be at this point in the video, you actually will see me doing one of the groupings with a pack. So three of the groupings are just base game and the rest of the groupings in some cases I had to use a base game flooring or wallpaper because there was no options for it from that pack or there was nothing that sort of fit the feel of what I was could fit in with the feel of what I was going for for this month. Um, but I did choose some packs to actually do because one, I didn't, I didn't want to just strictly do 10 groupings of base game objects. For one, some of the things that I wanted to include, especially seasons-wise anyway, <laughs> uh, would fit really well for like the fall thanksgiving -y sort of feel. So I did want to do some groupings based off of some of the other packs. Now obviously, if you don't have these packs, you have other options. Um, I know most people have more than just base game, and these are some of the more popular packs. Not completely, um, but I do know for a good portion, a lot of these packs a lot of people have by now. And I also think in some ways they do bring a little bit more option for this sort of theme going on potentially. But obviously, again, you can use any packs. You don't have, if you pick grouping uh, four, which is focusing on get together items, you don't have to use just get together and you don't even have to focus on get together items. You can use these few items and then put mostly seasons items or island living items or whatever. Vampires even <laughs> if you can find a way to fit those in. I will say I really love the vampires build and buy but I don't really know if anything in this in vampires fully fits this vibe but if you can do it please do. I would love to see how you incorporate vampire stuff in the more uh, fall-like vibes and not the spooky vibes. <laughs> now the lot that I'm currently building this on is a 20 by 15 lot and I, I'm pretty sure it's the smallest lot type that you can have. And the reason why I say that I am going to upload this to the gallery so that if you want to you can download it and then just delete the other groupings and keep yours as a reference of what items you need and slowly add them into the build or just need something to easily reference which items to use and the colors of them. I also have written down in my book literally every item that goes to each group. So if you need to ask me over on Twitter, I can easily send you a message with all the items, names, and stuff like that. And as well as screenshots. I've taken screenshots of each of them. You'll actually see them at the end. So I can also send those to you so that you have a reference that maybe you can have on your phone or something as you're building it and you can see which items and what the colors were as well. I tried to have multiple ways for you to be able to easily get access or figure out which items were which for this. Obviously if you don't have every single pack that has items in this it's not going to really matter as if you did, obviously didn't pick that grouping which if you didn't have the pack you wouldn't be picking the grouping of that pack. So. If you didn't have cats and dogs, which is what little grouping I'm working on now, grouping five, but you chose the get together one, you can still download this. The, the cats and dog stuff just won't show up. 
but you're focusing on the get together grouping, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> And it should be called the Novo November 2020 collab or the November 20 collab. I haven't actually posted it onto the gallery, obviously, yet, or even tried to type in the name. I haven't even saved it to my gallery because I literally am doing this voiceover right after this. So I'm not sure exactly how long um, I need the, if it, that, that will all fit. Uh, so, yeah, but it, it should be somewhere along those lines. Also, my origin ID is Artistic Gamer 7 and also down in the description below, I will be putting my origin ID as well as the name of the build because by the time I go to put the description, I will for surely know the title of the build on the actual gallery. So you can check that down there to make sure what the actual name is. <laughs> also, I do have some hash hashtags to use for this collab. It makes it easier for one, you, for y'all to be able to find this and actually... Um, it's another way for you to find it so that you can maybe more easily locate it, but also a way for anyone who wants to go look at the builds or download the builds that watch it, if you're okay with them downloading it, to also find it and give you like uh, a little follow or like on the gallery and also be able to get access to the build if they want to use it and you're okay with them using it. And also makes it easier for me to find it because sometimes typing in obviously people are probably going to end up giving it a slightly different name so I can use the hashtags to easily find them those hashtags are going to be listed down in the description below also again follow me on twitter I am going to be making a like group dm private message area so that we can if there's any questions that need to be asked people can ask them there and help each other out and I can also answer it and maybe if multiple people have the same question, one person asks it, I answer it, it's answered for everyone, or you can scroll and check and see if anyone's asked the question that you're wondering about. But also a way for me to get everyone's social media stuff, you know, their, their links to their channels, or gallery information, or Twitch, so on and so forth. And I will also be posting the hashtags in there, but the hashtags are AG7 collabs, November 20 collab, thankful collab, Artistic Gamer 7 and Fall Collab. So that's going to be the hashtags attached to this. Preferably attach all of them, but if you know you write a description and you can't fit them all in the description, that is fine. The big important ones is the ANG 7 collabs and the November 20 collab. That's the two big important ones. So try to get those into your gallery description over the other three. But if you can get all five of them, that'd be great. <laughs> Now, as far as the, like, due date or the date to make sure to get this up on the gallery and have me done, I always do a preferred date and an absolute date. The preferred date is the date that I want, I would l prefer everyone to have their builds done by, but if there's one or two that just for some reason can't get it up by that date for whatever reason, but they can get it up at a slightly later date, that's fine if the majority of people are posting it on the preferred date. It gives me time to be working on the tour video for those builds and then add in the the ones that couldn't get it up right away. So the preferred date for this one is November 25th and the absolute is November 28th. So I would definitely need them by November 28th and the tour video of going through everyone's builds will be up on the 30th. Now as people join the collab, like officially join the collab, I will be trying to make sure that I at least add them down below to a certain degree. When Once you join and follow me on Twitter and I add you to the group DM, it'd be great if you can go ahead and send me the socials that you want on there so I can go ahead and add that to this one. So people can go ahead and start subscribing, following, um, and so forth to your channels or Twitch streams or whatever it is you do so that they can go ahead and be watching out for your video or stream of the build. And you technically don't have to be a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or whatever. Um, if you just mainly focus on the gallery or if you just put pictures up on Instagram or share your stuff over on Twitter or if you do videos or streaming or just pictures on Facebook, it doesn't matter. Whatever, however you share your content is fine. As long as the gallery, obviously, is a thing, that's the main one, so that one, I can get your build. And there really isn't a two. <laughs> that is a big, big thing. So I can get your build, and other people can also enjoy your build and give you lovely likes, because, you know, 
you did a great job. And you can feel free to give as many links as you want. It doesn't matter. I, I don't want to try to cut and limit too many people off. So if you just got your gallery, or you got your gallery, your Twitch, and your YouTube, or you've got like 10 <laughs> links, you've got, you've got Twitch, you've got YouTube, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got Twitter, you got, that's fine. Give, give me any of the links and things like that you would like to have mentioned down in the description below of this video and also the final video. The final video definitely, uh, depending on how f fast people get me their socials, depends on how fast I can get them in this video and keep updating it. And sometimes I forget that, I'm not gonna lie. But it for surely will always be in the video tour video. <laughs> Yeah, definitely let me know if you would be interested in this collab. Definitely share the video with anyone that you think you think might would want it or share it to like a group that, you know, maybe there be some people that come across it that wants to participate. There is no, li I'm not limiting to the amount of people who can join this collab. The, usually the only time I do that is the ones that I've done rebuilds of. Like I've done one where it's mainly putting builds in Willow Creek and I've done Sulani and I think I did one other one. I can't remember. <laughs> Those, the worlds themselves only have so many lots. So I tend to limit those, but for the most part, I almost never limit the amount of people that can be in these monthly clubs. So definitely feel free to join and share and you know, all that loveliness there. Mention anyone that you think would, uh, or suggest anyone that might, would be interested. Like, hey, check out this collab. You might, might like it. So, as a quick little round off to finish the video, there are going to be screenshots at the end that are going to be going a little bit slower for you if you want to look at them. And again, I have taken the screenshots on purpose. I have written down all the items that are in each group so that if you need like a written thing for it, I can give that to you. I can give you the screenshot and so forth of each of the groupings so that you can have like a better look at it other than through the video. I did try to remember to hover over the items a little bit during the video so that you can sort of see them for a little bit longer which items I was using and I didn't speed up this process too much for that reason. So trying to make sure it's as easier to figure out what items are there as possible but oh definitely if you're joining and you need a picture or at least the names of the items I can definitely give that for you. Just definitely make sure you follow me over on Twitter. Now, if for some reason you don't have a Twitter, but you have some other form of social media, I'm always willing to try to work around that. I forget to say that in a lot of these collab videos, but I am willing to try to work around it. It just won't be in the group chat, but I will definitely fill you in on anything that you need to know if you're having to be in a separate message on another social media and willing to answer any questions that you have for the collab. So don't feel like you have to make a Twitter so that you can follow me to chat in the group chat. You don't have to if you don't have one, but a lot of people have one. So usually that's not a problem. And to my knowledge, it's never been a problem. The only problem I've ever had is that for some reason Twitter messes up and doesn't let someone join the group collab. So I have to message them separately. But, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm willing to work around that and make sure you get any of the information you need if for some reason you can't be a part of the group chat on Twitter or whatever. So, don't feel free that, don't feel that you are excluded if you don't have a Twitter or if your Twitter acts up weird. I'm willing to work with you. <laughs> but yeah, choosing one of these groupings, there is 10 of them, three base game, get together is one cats and dogs. Seasons, Island Living, Dine Out, Parenthood, and Tiny Living. Again, if you choose one of those groupings that is one that comes from a pack, you do not have to just focus on that pack unless that's a challenge you want to throw at yourself. If you choose the Seasons grouping and you want to do just base games and Seasons, that is fine. That is, that is a choice that you can make, but I am not making you do that. You can literally use all the packs but Star Wars and it will be fine. <laughs> But you do have to make sure you have these certain objects that are in the grouping somewhere in the build. It doesn't have to be all in the same room. They can be in different rooms from each other. When it comes to the flooring, you don't necessarily have to have the flooring as the whole floor. You can have it as like a, 
make it look like it's a rug feature or a detail feature. Same for the walls. It can be an accent wall or whatever. It can be inside, outside. It doesn't matter. It's it's up to your decision where you want to put each of these items and how you want to do the build in that way and how you put everything together. But these items, the one flooring and the one wallpaper have to be included in the color that is in the grouping. Any size lot, there is no money limits unless you want to find yourself a way to challenge yourself in those ways. All packs but Star Wars uh, can be used. No CC, just so that I can do the video tour at the end and everyone can be included in the same video tour instead of having to do like a separate screenshots thing. There is no limit to how many people can join in this collab, so definitely feel free to suggest it to friends of yours or anyone who you think might would be interested in giving this little collab a try. And for those of you who are joining, and even for those of you who are not joining or just watching, anyone who joins this collab, please, please give them a uh, check out, see how, go check their channel or stream or whatever it is for theirs out, follow them, give them some love, and definitely look forward to their builds for this. Again, I will be up trying to remember to update this particular video with everyone who is joining. So as they join and give me their socials, I will be adding them down below. Hopefully I remember. I think I'm going to write a little sticky note or something somewhere for me. Somewhere around my computer so that I can remember. been doing a little bit better at remembering things if I actually write it down and put a little note somewhere around <laughs> my computer. So I think I'll probably do that so that I can remember. And of course I will be 100% putting everyone's socials and I will remember for the video tour. <laughs> so definitely keep an eye out for those. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, get in contact with me if you're interested in this collab. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.